Rambling Man here. Okay, so yesterday I talked to y'all about um, Don't California My Texas. Well, let me just, um, let me ask y'all a question. I have um, been thinking about this whole minimum wage, raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Now, I understand that people that are arguing for this are saying, hey, you know, yeah, you need to catch up so they can make bills, you know, and make things matter. Well, have they not sat back and thought about every time that the minimum wage has been raised, prices go up? So I understand raising it or raising it some. I mean, of course, when I was a kid, it was like three, four dollars an hour was minimum wage. Then it was like six, and now it's like eight something, okay? But to raise it to fifteen dollars, even if it's over a five year period, I don't I don't know, I've heard they may do that. But even over a five year period, you're talking about going up six like six fifty or something. Six seventy five. That's ridiculous. Um, because if you think about it, the McDonald's is already losing their dollar value menu. I mean you have dollar drinks and things, but you know now your burgers are like dollar twenty nine and things like that. You're not, you're not getting the dollar value menu. Can you imagine? It's it's gonna be more like five below. So you're gonna be dealing with uh, McD- yeah. Let's go to McDonald's so we can get a four dollar uh, burger the size of a nickel. I mean, let's think about that. Anytime you raise the minimum wage up, your prices have to adjust for that because if you have to pay your employees. Okay, that amount of money, you need to raise your prices to make more money to pay your employees, or your margin is going to suffer. The other thing is, I know y'all have noticed on some of those places you can go in now to the to like uh, restaurants and stuff when it's drive when it's like a fast food restaurant and they have the kiosk. You just put your order in, someone makes it. You don't even have to have that interaction. So, yes. It sounds like a good idea on the if you're not thinking about everything. If you're just thinking about, oh, look, look at that, $15 an hour. That's great. So you're going to pay somebody $15 an hour, and a business that can't afford that is going to get a kiosk, cut three of their people off their shift, so they're not going to have them anymore. And now, so they can afford to pay the three people they keep on the shift. So instead of having a six-person shift there, they have a cook, someone to deliver the food out, and another person on the fry. I mean, fryer, that's it. So you're going to ha- cause people to lose their jobs because you're going up on a, on a higher minimum wage. And if you have $15 an hour, why would someone have to try to uh, work to make themselves better? I mean, $15 an hour, some people are like, yes, I finally made it $15 an hour. But if you're going to start them there, most people are like, they'll settle for that. Eh, I can get anywhere. If I just get a job anywhere, I can make $15 an hour. So if minimum wage is $15 an hour and you open up a snow cone shop, now you got to make, you got to pay this person $15 an hour. If I knew I could make $15 an hour, I don't have an education, I, don't have, I didn't go to college, and I decide I want to get a job, I can go serve snow cones, which sounds more like a high school job or someone that's retired and just wants to make extra money not taking anything away from someone I'm happy they're working but all you're doing is enabling people to do less for more that's my opinion and I have a lot of opinions so I want to hear what you think about this why would we raise the minimum wage so fast so high um, I understand adjusting for for the rise in prices and things, but you can't just put a price out there of fifteen dollars, and you can imagine people like that have worked their way up. I'll give you an example. My wife works in the uh, assisted living industry, and those caregivers work their butts off, and they might make anywhere between ten to twelve dollars an hour. And like I said, minimum wage is eight twenty five, right? Or eight fifty, whatever. I think it's eight twenty five. Um, now you're going to pay them, pay everyone, Joe Schmo over here that hadn't been working in the in that industry, not working their butts off, fifteen dollars an hour. 
that's like a slap in the face. So that means everybody has to adjust. So now those that assisted living is not going to pay fifteen dollars an hour because it's more of a a caregiver or someone that cares for someone. They're going to take care of people. You don't want someone that's just in there just ah I just I'm just here to get a paycheck. You're going to have to adjust to that. So now they're going to have to make seventeen, eighteen dollars an hour. And like I said, that raises all the other prices. So everything will adjust. So instead, I think they should worry about like maybe changing a little bit. But let me know what you think. Because right now, I'm telling you right, right now, the more I talk about it, the more it becomes evident that this is the stupidest thing I heard in my life. That going up that high. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to just have my own opinion. I want to hear yours. Some of you are going to disagree with me, and that's okay. But at least you're listening, at least you're commenting. So comment a lot on this one. I want to hear from you. Subscribe, share, comment. Thanks, guys. Ram the men out.